In recent developments, S. Iswaran, the former transport minister of Singapore, has returned to Singapore from Australia, where he had been granted permission to assist his son in settling into university. However, his return has been accompanied by significant legal proceedings and conditions set by the authorities. Upon his return, Mr. Iswaran has surrendered his passport to the authorities, as required within 24 hours of arriving back in Singapore. This action underscores the seriousness of the legal situation he finds himself in. Furthermore, Mr. Iswaran's Criminal Case Disclosure Conference, CCDC, has been adjourned, as reported by Channel News Asia, CNA. This delay in legal proceedings suggests that the case is complex and requires careful consideration by all parties involved. Mr. Iswaran is facing a series of charges, including corruption and obtaining gratification as a public servant. These allegations are substantial, and the legal process will undoubtedly scrutinize each charge closely. His legal journey began earlier this year when he was charged on January 18 and granted bail amounting to 800,000 Singapore dollars. The severity of the charges is highlighted by the total number he faces, a staggering 27 in total. Despite these allegations, Mr. Iswaran has maintained his innocence, pleading not guilty to all charges. The charges against Mr. Iswaran involve accusations of obtaining bribes from Mr. Ong Beng Singh, purportedly to further Mr. Ong's business interests. Additionally, Mr. Iswaran is accused of obstructing the course of justice by making a repayment of 5,700 Singapore dollars to the Singapore Grand Prix. This payment was allegedly for a business class flight from Doha to Singapore in 2022, provided by Mr. Ong through the Singapore GP. Mr. Iswaran's recent trip to Australia was initially intended to be a short one, spanning from February 16 to March 4, to assist his son. However, unforeseen circumstances arose when he fell ill during his stay. Consequently, his trip was extended until March 19, subject to various conditions imposed by the authorities. These conditions included an additional cash bail of 500,000 Singapore dollars, daily video call reporting to an investigation officer, and sharing details such as his itinerary and health condition. Despite these challenges, Mr. Iswaran's legal journey continues, with his CCDC now rescheduled for April 2. The adjournment indicates the complexity of the case and the need for thorough examination before proceeding with legal proceedings. The developments surrounding Mr. Iswaran's case have undoubtedly garnered significant attention in Singapore and beyond. As the legal process unfolds, it will be crucial to uphold principles of transparency, fairness, and justice to ensure a thorough and impartial resolution. Feel free to leave your thoughts and comments on this ongoing case, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to 2230 for more updates on this and other news stories. Your engagement helps support the channel and keeps you informed about the latest developments.